Q-tip time everyone. Today we're going to be talking about Qatari food. It's a question a lot of people have been asking. Let's get started. First one is mechbous. It's like flavored rice and it could be mechbous rubian, which is prawn mechbous, mechbous di, which is chicken mechbous, or mechbous laham, which is meat and mechbous. And typically what I like to do is like to smush a little bit of uh, potato, a little bit of rice, and a little bit of uh, prawns as well, turn into little balls, and I prepare all the little balls and then I eat them one by one. It's easy. The second thing I wanted to mention is thirid. Thirid is basically um, saluna or let's say a curry, a watery based curry with meat and vegetables and it also has layers of bread. So think about it as like a lasagna that's soggy with curry. The third thing I wanted to mention is saluna. Saluna is basically a watery curry and it uh, usually has a lot of tomato in it, can be spicy as well and you can of course have it with meat, just vegetables and if you're gonna have vegetables typically you'll have aubergine and potato and carrots and that sort of stuff in it. The fourth food is haris. You're probably familiar with it because it's served in Ramadan. Basically you have wheat berries, lamb or chicken, and you also have a local purified or clarified butter. That's make sure that's what makes it quite oily. You also add some salt and pepper and that sort of thing. And it's all ground together into a porridge type substance and it tastes good. The fifth food I wanted to mention is ligemat. These are balls that are sweet because they're covered in honey and they're deep fried. Basically deep fried donut holes. So those were five foods. Other foods that you can check out are sagu, balalit, and khabisa. So basically, if you can't pronounce it, it's a Qatari food. Of course, a lot of these foods are served around the region and they're adapted from other countries as well. So just try it out and see how we do it Qatari style. Again, don't forget to like, subscribe, and leave us a comment in the comment section below if you've got a question. Take care.